We've been on a bucket list adventure across Japan for the last two and a half weeks and after spending the last five nights in Osaka, we are on the move again and the next stop is Kyoto. We attempt to climb Fushimi and Ari Taisha, famous for its thousands of tunnels and tori gates. The raininess definitely adds to the atmosphere here. Oh, it's getting darker and more spooky. I just heard a ball. Oh, that was scary. And then head into the old town to try some delicious foods and browse the beautiful streets of Kyoto. Wow, these streets are so good. So we have just spent the last five nights here in Osaka but today is the day we're going to set off for two nights in Kyoto. Now the plans changed a little bit because originally we were meant to spend four nights in Kyoto but we have cut that short because we want to head back to Tokyo and explore Disney Sea because I messed up our tickets. Today unfortunately I think it's a pretty rainy day but it's okay because it's travel day. Uh, so first of all we need to get two trains to get to our hotel in Kyoto. This is somewhere that I've always wanted to go so let's get two trains and head off to Kyoto shall we? Now we have to figure out how to drop this key off. It was literally like being in an escape room trying to get in this first. Uh, there was like multiple different key cords and locks so let's go shall we? I also now have the mission of dragging this dodgy suitcase through multiple stations. Honestly pack light if you're gonna come here. It literally catches every time so I'm like lugging 25 key cords but I think clothes it's probably more than that because it's more than that but good to look for the elevator because carrying these down the stairs aren't fun. First stop, Mido Suji line. have a quick look in the stationery shop before we go in. It's got some cute hydrangea stationery. These are cute. Oh, I like these square ones. Look at all these washi tapes. Holy smokes, that washi tape is massive. Oh my gosh, it's a little fish kayakis we had in the food vlog. Now I've had my little break in the stationery shop. Time to get our second train busy here. Stations are honestly so nice here. There's always like food courts and like places to uh, places to shop. I love it. Anyway, let's head through here. Oh, this shop smells really, really good. And she's making sweet potato desserts. What's she making there? Like a sweet potato yeah, pie? Pineapples. And look at these. We still haven't tried these, but it's sweet potatoes, but they make it like a dessert. So they have almond and syrup on. And this is what we want to be getting for Kyoto Kawaramachi. Two and three, so I'm gonna use the skewers. Is this it? Oh, we might as well get on it. Ah, quick. Get on it, get on it. That was close. This is such a cute train. I love it when they look all retro. We definitely got the long line 
um, because it stopped at every single station on the way after a little nap on the train. We were meant to be on platform five for the express one, but never mind, we enjoyed the views. And now we're gonna check into our hotel, but we can't actually check in till three. It's about, is it nearly 1 p.m. now? So we're probably just gonna have to chill for a little bit and we need some lunch, so let's go, shall we? We've decided to eat in this food court in Kyoto Station. It's got all different types of places, fish place, uh, this looks like a traditional Japanese, and this is a steak place. We've got the steak, but you've got uh, miso soup, I think, or some sort of soup, and some salad. Yummy, our steak comes sizzling on a platter, and I think that's hamburger. And then we also got some rice. <laughs> like chill beautiful ghibli vibes here in kyoto i don't know what it is i absolutely love this room it's so like minimalistic and serene we have like a big window but it's actually frosted so you can't see any of the outside i think it's because it's just right next to the building they've also gave us two snacks two welcome snacks which is really nice i noticed this mind your manners card as well which i thought was quite interesting but also nice uh, to kind of be respectful of the local area and it just feels really really zen in here the bathroom is beautiful as per usual we have a japanese toilet and we also have quite a lot of space to maneuver I love the two sofa area because we can come back sit on the cozy sofas if we want he just said when he went down to go do the washing that there's a lounge with free drinks and snacks so we're gonna go see it apparently it's really really nice uh, so we're gonna go see that I feel this feels really fancy doesn't it I don't even think we paid that much for it either like compared to everything else ah one big bed frame but two mattresses uh, which is handy when you're sleeping with someone who moves a lot. I actually am the one who wiggles around a lot and deep. So our washing is just in there. And most hotels have had this. Is it washer dryer? Washer dryer, 600 yen this one. The last nice. one was falling. Oh, I like a little tree in the bottom, Dean. This feels fancy. It feels too fancy for me. Look at this little hydrangea and tree here. And this is a little cozy lounge you can use with free drinks and snacks. Yeah. So you can get a coffee. I don't think I want a coffee. What's this? Oh, welcome drink. Green tea. Iced green tea. What else is in there? Ice. That's what's fancy it's a Iced tea. Apple juice. Oh, it's matcha maker. Cup to the water line and lock in place. Oh, so matcha, matcha strength maker. and pesto. Nice. They've even got some ginger ale and some coke here, Dean. I'm going to get an apple juice, I think. Oh, actually, I might have an iced tea. Myself a little milk tea. Okay, and Dean's got a little grilled rice cake and a little sweet. Yeah, I've got a yogurt. Because mochi. Oh, some dried kiwi, dried pineapple and fruits. And then we've got dangos here, black honey dango, strawberry chocolate, gold leaf sweet beans jelly. Wow, check this out. This hotel is very nice. Apricot, 
and yogurt tastes mochi. It's just saying to Dean, we didn't even need to go to that coffee shop. We could have just came here and sat in here until we checked in. I've got like gold leaf jelly, some chocolate strawberry, dried kiwi, a dango. Because mochi. Oh, so it's an apricot and yogurt mochi. And I got myself a milk tea. Cheers, Dean. <laughs> Right, we had our nice chill out in the room and now it's currently about half five we're heading to the shrine i'm hoping we'll get to see it during the daytime and then hopefully the sun will set and we'll get to see it all lit up at night which i think will be magical also i've read online that there's actually wild boars and wild boars come out at night so hopefully we'll be okay we've got two trains to catch or we can walk 30 minutes and then catch a train so i think we're just going to get the two trains so let's go shall we <laughs> Just walking to the train station and look at this place with all like these like retro looking models in them. Kinda looks like Gundam or something, I don't know. <laughs> so cute. Right, we need to get on the Nara line. I love that even the train station looks like it's themed to the gates already with the red and black. It's, it looks like it's still going to be busy despite us coming on the evening. I think this is a very busy attraction but I'm very excited. of Tory gates on this hike and you can walk right to the top of the mountain there's toilet stops along the way and there is a lot and we're about to see it but it already looks pretty amazing magical take some on. I don't know if we're going to do the full thing but we'll soon see. What's interesting as well, if we turn around there should be inscriptions on the back. There you go. So all the writing on the back and the lights are beginning to come on on the shrine so it's pretty magical. So you go the right way here apparently and there's also a little walkway around here with all these lamps. And you see a lot of these foxes. Ah, oh, this is so cool. are getting much less busy already but the sound of the nature sounds here is incredible it's even more magical that the sun is setting you can hear all the birds and the wildlife in the forest well i don't think it's doing it justice but you can hear a stream now as well along with all the tropical sounding birds and wildlife Just amongst the red ones, I've noticed these much older looking ones in the centre. It looks amazing. It sounds so peaceful here. Definitely in the evening, it is much less busy. And the further on you go, as you can see, the crowds are dispersing. I'm going in the forest and hearing all the nature sounds. It sounds incredible. Oh, well, 
Oh, there's a lot of spiders around here. There's just so much that I want to capture and draw. This is the stream that you can hear kind of rushing down through here. It's been raining today and in my opinion all the stones and rocks and moss is all like wet and it adds to kind of the magic feeling of this place. Wow. Oh maggots. Beware of balls and monkeys. These look so cool, don't they? It's starting to get darker and darker and there's hydrangeas everywhere. Oh, should we get a drink from a vending machine? Now we feel alone. <laughs> there's barely one coming up these bits. It also smells like petrichor, like damp earth. The rain and mist and the raininess definitely adds to the atmosphere here. I would recommend coming on an evening. So we're at the crossroads, 25 minutes walk to Mount Inari. Oh. Well, the Inari Shrine, 15 minutes. Wow, oh, it's so magical. I wonder if people live in these. Cool that there's vending machines at these points, but who on earth fills these up? Holy smokes, what a view. The sun has just set and you just get a beautiful view so of a Kyoto. <laughs> the only downside is I've just took my jacket off because it's like really humid tonight. I'm like a sweaty, sticky mess. Took my cardio off, but I'm getting bit now off all the mozzies. But they're massive and they keep landing on me and like Bleh. There's also loads of big spiders and moths. Um, but anyway, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, we've been walking over an hour. We're not even halfway. We've got a good viewpoint though. Look at that. But, oh, we're still not at the top. How am I going to give up? No. I might. Oh, come on, Dean. Okay, it says here a loop around the mountain is around 30 minutes, so it's quite uphill, but we'll get to the summit. So let's do it. This way? No. And come back. Oh, the other way. This way. Okay. It's already an epic view up here. Look at this. Who on earth stocks these vending machines off? <laughs> like, seriously. And what are these? Are these cafes? Hmm. All right, are we doing it? Are we going to the summit? Because no one else is. Oh, it's getting darker and more spooky. Oh, here's a shrine, probably near the top. There's a gacha pond. Dean, there's no one around here and there's wild boars and monkeys. This is scary now. Oh, come on, we haven't seen anyone. Oh, we're so close, but it's getting a bit creepy. The hydrangeas look nice though. Another shrine. Oh, right, come on Dean, it's a bit scary around here. Do you know what's even spookier? All the nice bird and nature noises have stopped. And it's just really silent. Uh, maybe this is where the samurai zombies come out. There's a couple of scenarios that could happen here. One, I get turned into a samurai zombie. Number two, I get my toes nibbled off by a ball. Number three, I get my eyes gouged out by a monkey. Oh, number four, monkey. <laughs> oh yeah, or oh, number four, you won't even see this vlog because a monkey will nick my camera. <sighs> Another shrine. Oh, come on. Why aren't you the summit? Oh, number six or five. That mad in. I get attacked by a swarm of moths. I absolutely hate moths. But there's a vending machine. Kudos to the person who comes and sucks this up. I am so unfit. I've got the gym when I get home. We did it. And I can tell by this sign that this 
the summit. And here's the shrine at the summit. Nice. How on earth did they put all these sorry gates everywhere? Oh, there's a candle lit there. Do you need to try in this apple juice from the vending machine, which I tried the other day? It's this red apple one, and it literally tastes like red delicious apple. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it tastes like you're actually eating an apple. An apple. Yeah, it does taste like you're eating an apple. Anyway, that's amazing. I don't know how anyone, how they got this many Tory gates, like up here and down here, and how they fill the vending machines. That was very fun. To be honest though, there's no view at the summit, so you could just get the view of Kyoto and come halfway up and get that beautiful city view if you wanted to and then go back down. But when you come up here, it was only a 20 to 25 minute to the summit. Dean, I just heard a bar. Oh, that was scary. Anyway. It does only take 25 minutes to the summit, but as you can imagine, it is uphill. Be careful not to slip on the rocks or get eaten by wild boars. I'm not scared of you. Yeah, yeah, don't come eat me. I was joking. Please leave me alone. Thank you and goodbye. I'd like to make it to my nice hotel. Thank you. This is literally turned into an episode of Most Haunted in Japan. Listen to that. There's nothing, there's no noise, there's no wind noise, there's no, my, my voice doesn't sound loud. Can we make it back on? Oh, there's a massive dragonfly thing, what is that? That's it, I'm out of here, see you later. This area looks kind of cool, I'll come walk through here, look how cool this looks. You can hear a bit of water now. I've just heard like some sort of monkey or something jumping in a tree. Look how cool these lanterns are. Does that look cool or not? <laughs> Yeah. Where is everyone suddenly gone? Why is it just us now? This is where it's a horror story where we're just doing a continuous loop of the forest forever and we never get out. They better watch out because I've watched Naruto and I'll do I'll do my Sharingan on them. I hope they're not stuck in a jiu-jitsu. Also, this bit looks stunning. You can now hear the trickling of water. Still no one around though, but it looks pretty epic. You can hear all the water trickling, but this area does look pretty epic. Check this out. It's all like different shrines and everything, all like mismatched and lopsided across the mountain. Oh wow, we've come back to the viewpoint. That looks epic. Oh, there's a cat. What is that massive thing flying in the air? Whoa, what is that? Oh my god, it was massive. Massive like wasp thing. What? It's not. It's not it's a, wasp. a wasp. That's massive. No, it's, no massive. it's not. It's like a flying cockroach it's, it's, of death. It's, it's going to kill thing. us, Dean. It's huge. It's like a flying cockroach. It's too big to be a wasp. Kill wasps in Japan. What? No, seriously. No, that's too big to be a wasp, I no, swear to God. It wasn't. No, it is way too big to be a wasp. It looks very pretty here though. <laughs> Look how nice it looks. But there's killer wasps from outside space right now. Oh, Dean, that's such an aesthetic shot with the hydrangeas in the background. Dean's playing Pokemon Go when we're in the shrine and we're about to get eaten alive by killer moths and wild boars. What are you doing, Dean? Hello. You can hear all the cicadas in the tree. Sounds so good. I love the sound of that noise. We don't really get it too much in the UK unless it gets dead hot. We can hear them right now. You can also hear some birds. Here's another one. So many. I love that this shrine's covered in cats. You also have 
the view of the city as you're coming down here. You can hear like frogs and loads of wildlife here. There's some toads here too. Look at these. You can hear all the noise and the gold, gold butter just over there. I don't think we came up this way. You can't see me right now but all these nature noises are literally so magical right now. Ah, so pretty. I think we're finally coming into civilization. There's like shops and restaurants around so during the day I'm guessing all these little shops and stuff are open and the restaurants but oh look how pretty that looks with the bike there. We're coming into like a little town I think near the shrine. Uh, near the big shrine at the beginning, yeah. What the heck is that noise? That's the sound of a body. It's not a It was like a piggy with snort. Like. So that's like, <laughs> right, let me know in the comments what the heck that noise was. All right, we're walking back to the station now, which is directly opposite this temple. And there's a wonderful temple behind us. What an epic night. I might be a hot, humid, sweaty mess. Uh, but it was epic, <laughs> even the funny, scary parts. Um, that was one of the most magical experiences I think I've had. It was really, really worth it. And I definitely would say to go to the summit, it is really fun and just something that you would never see anywhere else in the world. It's really, really cool. Anyway, let's go back to our hotel and we also need something to eat now. <laughs> we actually haven't had anything to eat, but uh, we're getting pretty hungry because we didn't realize that it was like, it says like it's a three hour all round trip i have no idea what time it is i think it's like 9 p.m maybe 10 p.m really epic though definitely recommend coming in the night time or the evening time when the sun is setting uh, as you can see it's much quieter behind us now or very early on the morning because i can just imagine that being epic two stations you can get off at but i highly recommend getting off at inari because as you can see this is literally the stop right outside of the temple here i really like the way the themed this station after the temple with all the red and the black super cool morning guys welcome to day two of kyoto uh, and our final day i'm absolutely gutted we originally had four days planned for this kyoto trip but as you guys know we changed it up so we could go back to tokyo and do disney sea but now i'm kind of regretting it because i feel like i really really love it here already first of all we are going to go down into the lounge and make use of the free coffee get a free coffee and then we're going to do a 35 minute walk to the old town first stop though we need to go get some free coffee ah free coffee oh no it's out of cafe lattes coffee love the vibe in here dean i like the music but whenever there is no iced coffee anywhere what I tend to do is ask for an espresso and a glass of milk and then I just make my own. And just like that, we have a little free breakfast. Self-made iced coffee, an egg sandwich and an Ari sushi. We just had a nice coffee and now we're heading on a 36 minute walk to the Higashiyama district, I think it's called. Um, and I didn't bring my sunglasses because I didn't think it was going to be sunny today. And it's like that weird cloudy sunny and the sun's like peeking out every now and then. Let's head off to Old Town. Oh, look at this little Totoro. That's handmade in this plant pot. We're just walking on our way and we came across this huge shrine. What the heck? It's absolutely amazing. It's just crazy that these are just randomly dotted around everywhere. <laughs> we would have missed it. It was just like beyond these walls. We were just like walking and it was like tucked in here. That looks incredible. <sighs> so cool this apartment complex over here it's just got like bamboo and trees growing outside of it Just 
crossed the road and found this cute park and they've got like loads of the hydrangeas I bet if you came in July all these hydrangeas would be in full full bloom but it's really beautiful because this park has all the purple and blue hydrangeas and they've also got like slides and stuff to match but look at this wall I definitely want to plant more of these in my garden we did have pink hydrangeas in my old house but these blue and purple ones have given me a lot of inspiration for a product collection next year with bumble but with hydrangeas in purple and blue ones how beautiful is it that they're just dotted around everywhere has so many cafes and restaurants and look at this place this has cream sodas and these little bear glasses I think you get to keep it as well got banana milk strawberry milk mango swirly fried potato and cheese oh swirly fried potato and cheese oh that looks delicious what the heck oh this coffee shop looks good so we went to that street food place and we got the pork cutlet and we got the street below us and the pagoda right in front of us and this is delicious it's super crispy on the outside and it's got pork mints and in the center it's stuffed with cheese these ice creams look so fun they're like bubbly type of ice cream with little pearls on them how cool do they look also the pagoda is just there so we're just wandering all these streets oh there's a strawberry stall uh, here as well sugared uh, candy <laughs> They also have another stall with spaghetti ice cream here. It's like ice cream but like spaghetti style. I've seen so many people in these beautiful yukatas because you can rent them here. And a lot of people are looking at the pagoda. Oh, this is a really sh good shop. It's like a shop and a cafe. Should we have a look inside? It's got like stationery and stuff. I love how old and traditional they look in here as well. Ah, Mambo. This is a cute little dog character. I'm getting a little Tory gate magnet to remember my time. Also, look how cute these biscuits are. <laughs> These are interesting sculptures. It's got like boobies. Kind of reminds me of the anime Parasite. I love the smell of old traditional Japanese buildings. When you're walking around here, all you can smell is like wood. And it smells so, so nice. I don't know if it's the humidity bringing it out, but I've noticed the smell even when we went to like Kanazawa or if we stayed in an old Ryokan, you can just smell all the wood everywhere. And it smells amazing. We're going to go into this cafe and get a butter doriyaki they have outside and they also have the traditional squishy Japanese desserts but let's have a look Ooh. oh my goodness look how nice this is butter doriyaki please you yeah, can sit out here though in this little Zen garden so they only sold four desserts but we're sat in this beautiful little Zen garden with the blue seats and we're gonna eat our sweet doriyaki but look how nice everything is wrapped here seriously this is 270 yen so like maybe less than three pound how nice is wrapped I love it I'm gonna open this now there's a lot of shops as well that I've noticed in Japan that will only serve like a couple of things and that's it but they do it really well 
This is a dariyaki, which we actually had for the first time on our plane to Japan. So if you haven't seen the travel day videos, definitely check it out. Look, everything is like perfectly wrapped. It's basically like two sweet pancakes. Look, it's even got like a little protective coating in it. Two savoury pancakes with red bean paste in the centre. It's really soft and squishy. Ta-da! Mmm. I don't know what that white stuff is this time, but it's really nice. It's not too sweet. Mm. Perfectly balanced. Okay. Look at all these beautiful little sweets you can get. You can pick and make your own box. And they're all different themes like sakura, lemon. Oh, and they all look so perfect. Look at this one. 100 yen, so 60p per sweet, but they'd make such a cute little gift. So many cute sweets. Also, they've got the Studio Ghibli sweets. Look at all those little, like, spiky sweets. I'm gonna have to buy them from somewhere. Ooh, coffee beans. Sweet potato and dango bean. Wow, these sweets are so good. In this shop, they do the sweet potatoes and the delicious dangos, which I absolutely love. They're so good, but I'm gonna try sweet potatoes because I haven't tried that yet. This is what they do. I think I'm gonna try this one. Whoa, this looks so delicious. So like a golden uh, sweet potato with like, I think maybe honey on it. I think these might be sweet. So let's try it. Yum. All right, big chunks of potato. You can get them thin as well. Mm. They don't taste that much like sweet potato in the UK. You know, sweet potato is really sweet on the inside. It tastes like a mix between normal potato and sweet potato with like a honey on the outside. Unless it's that soy sticky glaze that they use on dango, actually. I think it might be that. But yeah, I think it is. Mm, it's really good and then it's got sesame tea done. All these side streets look amazing as well and that looked like a good dango. Also, it's just crazy that there's a Starbucks here. This is a Starbucks. It's so random. I just find it really random that that is a Starbucks. Oh, ooh, it smells like incense down here. Oh, it smells amazing. It's like wooden incense. Oh, look at these. Candy apple and the big chunks of apple with like a nice coating on the outside. You can get different coatings. Oh, Dean, look. Is that koi? It's like just below this apple shop is this tiny little pond of fish in it. Dean's gonna go inside here and get the cinnamon one to try. It's cute in here, you can sit inside. Uh, we just sat on these little benches and they also have a little seating area over here with the tatini mat. Oh, does it look good, Dean? Whoa, very good. Look how good that backdrop looks. It's got like a crispy coating on the outside. The apples here have always been really crisp and fresh and delicious. So it's been really strange here in Japan because they sell bags of apple in a store with like one of those silica gels in to keep it crisp and it's like half an apple in one bag and it's quite expensive but they've always been really crisp and fresh and perfectly, perfectly ripened. Like the perfect here. Uh, Dean's just said this is really, really juicy and delicious and it looks like all uh, glittery with the crystals on it. Oh my goodness, that's so good. The cinnamon's perfect because I think cinnamon and apple, it's like a match made in heaven, but the coating's extra crispy on the outside and the inside of the apple. Oh, it smells like Florida a bit. It's all because the cinnamon apple flavor reminds me of Disney World for some reason. I'm not a brown speck inside. <laughs> I've just stumbled upon the Studio Ghibli song, Kyoto. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go inside. Oh my gosh, it's so cute in here. It's similar to the Tokyo one, but it's not quite as uh, big with uh, Kalsa in the middle. We've got a Totoro over here. We've got the Gachapon. It hasn't got the Totoro Gachapon. It's got one of those uh, crabs. A little No Face fan. Oh, No Face uh, figurines over here some more cute stuff this is all howl's moving castle and of course we have castle oh my god there's that giant wasp thing <gasps> carabiner i think i might get one of these these are really handy to put on your backpack 
because you can hook all sorts on it. I've never seen a carabiner like this before. Okay, I'm gonna have to definitely get a Totoro one, I think. I also love the calcifer here. Oh, so cute. We've come to the end of the street now, but there's still a lot of cute shops to see. We're in this shop and they've got loads of beautiful sun catchers and jewellery and stuff and I've wanted a pretty sun catcher for my studio so I think I might get one, crystal sun catcher. Uh. <laughs> Well, look at this huge pottery shop. We've got so many different pots and ceramics that look all handmade. Whoa, <laughs> so many to choose from. There's also a samurai walking across the street. Walking up this beautiful street and there's more really cute foods. This is a peach hydrangea parfait. Look how nice it is. It's got like, I don't know, there's this cold air steaming out of it. Looks really nice in here. Look at this little dinner set you can get. Oh, it seems like a zen garden where you can sit here. We're just waiting for our food. But it looks so cute. Ah, so our food came. Look how aesthetic that looks. Coolest thing ever. We've got the steam coming out of here. I'm not sure what this is. But look how good it looks. We've got uh, a lavender drink and then some sort of frappe over there. And you pour that drink in. <laughs> Look at this place that serves like these interesting looking dangos. They look so cool. Oh, there's so many places to try. It's kind of annoying because we obviously did have a lot more nights booked. And I think even though you could walk around these streets in like half an hour, I want to like go in each one and try all the different foods and take pictures of all the different foods because they do it so well here. Uh, and we just don't have time. But. Never mind, look how beautiful the street is. It's so sunny. This is called so so. Or susu. These are dango things to do. I'm not sure if they are dango or like jelly sweets. But it's pretty cool. It's sold out of a lot of stuff because it is nearly closing time. There's also a stall here serving like dumplings and meat. And he's currently frying them on the grill. There's so many foods I want to try. They're cooking fresh dumplings. And it looks like maybe tofu or something. It looks very nice though. And that's the view below. How good is that? <laughs> There's little chicks up here. What the heck? They're just messing on the shop. Oh, they're waiting for food. That's crazy. It's just like in this shop. Look, everyone's taking photos of them. Just saying, we could have done a street food tour here. Like, went around and tried them all uh, because there is actually so many different stalls and foods that we haven't seen yet. Uh, it just means, Dean, what does it mean? We have to come back. I don't know when though. Oh, look at the shrine. This is just like in the middle of the street. It's amazing. Look at these. There's so many people out there. you catters. It looks amazing, doesn't it? You always hear of Kyoto being one of the main places to come, and I definitely see why. More street food. Oh, is that takoyaki? Ooh, more street food over there. It's literally amazing here. It's so beautiful. Got more street food over here. Looks like fried potatoes and butter, sweet potatoes, cheese. And it's all steaming away there. It looks really good, but we're so full. We can't try any. Look at this. Oh, they've got tako sen, which must be different to takoyaki. Yeah, Japanese snacks crackers. So it looks like takoyaki, but I think it's fish rather than octopus. Dean is a sucker for ice cream and has just walked past this roasted chestnut soft serve. 
It smells absolutely amazing. They're roasting the chestnuts here. So are you gonna get it? It's also in this black corn, which is probably squid ink. Whoa, that looks good, Dean. Look how like fluffy it looks. I love how it's rounded. We're gonna have to try this quick, but I need a photo first. Mm. It's so soft. I've never had that flavour before. It's like not like pistachio, like when we went to Italy, if you haven't seen the Italy vlogs, definitely check it out. We love the pistachio ice cream. <laughs> this has got a much more subtle, almost vanilla-y type taste with a very, very subtle chestnut taste. Ooh, so at the bottom there's pieces of those roasted chestnuts. So that must have been what he was doing, scooping the roasted chestnuts inside. We're also selling refreshing pickled cucumbers here. I think I'd really like these, they look really refreshing. I've seen quite a few people walking around with them. Wow, just at the top of the street, we've come to the temple. Yeah. Oh my God, we left our bag all the way at the bottom of the bank at the ice cream shop and it was still there when we got back. Oh, I love Japan. Oh, thank goodness it was still there. Uh, so we didn't get time to see the temple because Dean was like, oh, where's your green bag gone? And I was like, I actually have no idea. It was still in the exact same spot we left it, which was really lucky. This hotel looks amazing. Imagine staying there right near the old town. Also, look ahead at this way, at the mountains and the streets. Looks so pretty. There's another street food place and it's got these like buns in and stuff, but these uh, dumpling buns look amazing. Look at them, so I've actually got one of them squishy dumpling buns. Oh my gosh, it's this soft squishy bun with pork in the inside. It smells amazing, it smells so fresh. I've just seen a geisha. Damn it, I didn't get a face. That's so cool, what the heck? That must be coming from a geisha experience. Back in the lounge, aren't we, Dean? <laughs> With our combini meals, but all the nice stuff has kind of gone off here. But we don't mind. They've also got coke and red wine and white wine and uh, beers. We've got butter chicken tea and we've got warmed up from <laughs> the shop and Dean got ramen. Bon appetit, guys. I kind of feel like this is a budget way to do it, Dean. Nice ambiance. It feels like we're in a fancy restaurant. We get free drinks and even they've got beers and wine. And I got button chicken tickets. So I'm like we're saving money at the same time. Ah, we're back in the room now. We had such a nice time in that lobby. I literally love this hotel. Seriously, I love it. Anyway, we've had a beautiful time in Kyoto. There is so much here to do and so many things we haven't seen. So many more shrines, the bamboo forest. I am gutted we haven't got a t another two more nights, but also we are looking forward to going back to Tokyo because there was so much there we didn't do as well. So in the next one, we will be getting the Shinkansen back up to Tokyo where we'll be staying, back to explore Disney Sea, and then we will be back exploring Tokyo and Shibuya, which we haven't even explored yet. So I hope you've been enjoying them. If you have, please don't forget to leave a comment and a like because it really helps us out on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. All right then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you.